Okay, second attempt. And this time at 60 frames per second apparently, instead of 20. So, as you can see, uh, some progress on the tornado. I added the gulping swallowing effect. It's still not perfect, but that's mostly fine tuning. And I'm also going to show you a little bit of the progress so far. I don't have all the meshes. I lost a few. And this one was from a few months ago and I had some time to try it out. The UV map is probably really horrible. I can't even remember what it looks like. Let's just look at it for a second. Okay, yeah, that's really ugly. Okay. Another attempt was just with a load of layers, as you can see. But that wasn't any good result either. These ones were vertex animated, a bit more like a uh, hurricane. But yeah, the results were really horrible as well. And then I started working with a bit more curved mesh, curved cylinder, and that was actually a decent result. And that one's bad results as well. And basically I modified this one to look a bit more like this and it gave decent results but it's, it was still wasn't perfect. And then I made this cylinder and the UV map is actually quite interesting. There it is and as you can see, it if a texture is panning horizontally, it slowly moves down upwards. So I used that into my to my advantage. And started making these meshes, these rainbow ones. Now they are rainbow because I'm using a lot of vertex colors just to tweak some values in the shader. In this case the more greenish color is uh, full, full translucent so nothing is shown. The red one is the UV, first UV map that shows the regular texture and the blue one is just to hide seams. Because, as you can see in the first UV map, there's this green blue line on the blue. And, yeah, that line is horrible. So I added a second UV map over here. And as you can see, the offset is different. The green line is now a bit lower. So, normally the scene will be on the blue line, but that's now hidden because of the second UV map in the shader. Not the best explanation, but it's 3 a.m. and I'm getting really tired. And I made a few variations of those, all with the same UV map as the cylinder. And that resulted in this. The shader is actually a bit of a mess at the moment. Move this out a bit. There. Uh, basically, this controls to the regular panning and also a little bit of the displacement and just the regular texture flow this only is in control of the whole swallowing gulp effect it still needs some fine tweaking and fine tuning but that's just that it shouldn't be too hard I initially made a material function of something like this but it didn't suffice so I started from scratch uh, there's also some spare stuff I can delete that I don't need anymore. And there are also two death fates and while I only need one. So it's mostly just cleaning up. Fine tuning. And yeah, it still looks a bit tunish. That could probably be helped a little bit with some additional settings and probably a different texture. I can just show you what it will look like with a different texture. Let me just get the nebula mask. And this should look more chaotic. Yes, it does. And uh, let's get the other one. And this actually looks a bit better than the previous one. Uh, let's pick a fire mask. I don't know. So you just can see what the difference the texture makes. And this one, which doesn't look that bad either. The problem at the moment is that. Um, I want to change the colors on it. I don't want it to be just white. And there lies the problem at the moment because the texture is translucent. And I need some kind of fire effect. But if I make it opaque, it kind of loses the the oomph it has when it when you look at it in this view. 
So that's just some managing. I probably need to make the center cylinder opaque and the ones around it not. That could work. Or I could make a separate texture just for the uh, where the white turns into the black uh, black texture. And another one where everything that's more gray turns into a fiery red orange. That could work. Just some practicing and I hopefully have some more time next weekend. So I'm just gonna let this go for a second and then call jet quits. Let's Okay. I can see the, the mesh without the shader. And there's again. Okay. That's it.